Dr. Scott McLean and this is the McLean experiment where we're going to compare, as you can see in the picture, a template guided surgery with a X guided surgery at the same time. We'll see if we can get these in the same position because the implant's actually planned in the same software. So if we step back for a minute, we're going to go back and have a look at the software itself and see that we can actually plan either the template guided or the dynamic guided and so we'll kind of just run through this with you so you can understand what I'm kind of doing here because it's a little bit complex but we're actually going to plan the implant first so it doesn't matter if I'm using template guided or X guided here and uh, which is dynamic guided we're going to plan the implant in the position that we want and then start to do our final position using templates so the template would actually be something we would push a few buttons and start to generate a template. So here we can make a template and then create this so that the implant's going to be nine millimeters from the ring. So this is what I've been doing for a number of years and I've start, started using the X-guided system. So on the X-guided dynamic system we're actually transferring a plan into the X-guide based on that initial uh, position. So in both cases, we're using the same position of the implant to generate the template, but also to generate the plan for doing dynamic navigation surgery. So we'll get this template fabricated, which is going to allow us to put a 10 millimeter by 5.5 noble active in this position. So we do have to cut the template to get it into the position in the mouth to be next to the X-guided clip. So this is how we're going to determine the implant position is going to be in the same position uh, using both surgeries and so it's very interesting I think is to kind of check one to the other because the planning software should be sophisticated enough to kind of look after this and we'll soon find out if that's the case. Now after we have the template fabricated we can also use the same plan to click and create an X-Guide plan which will be brought into the X-Guide and used in a way that we're going to do dynamic navigational surgeries. You can see here, we can see the implant position and we can actually see if we're on target. So I'm going to kind of compare one to the other at the same time. And so the template is in position here. And we also have the X clip in position. So both are giving us feedback to do guided surgeries. So we're going to see. So let's begin. We'll take the tooth out. We've extracted a molar that's been fractured. We can tell that by the uh, kind of probing depths on the facial here. And we can see that there's a nice site, so we'll cleanse the site and get that ready. We're actually going to be penetrating the base of the socket, just so that, which is the base of the sinus, just so we can engage the tip of the implant. You can see as we get this positioned, the template is in position and also the clip is in position at the same time. So you can see how they're kind of butting up against each other which uh, is a way we can check this. So we're going to start to measure the drills and kind of calibrate things. And as we go into position, we'll be using the template to help and aid us to do our navigation. So two navigation systems at the same time are occurring here. So normally I take the precision drill, if I was using just the X-Guide, it's going to use that here and you can see I'm kind of going through the template and check that out it's unbelievable the accuracy here you can see we're in a position right in the furcation of the roots and you can see that as we go in here the two systems are very very much in the same position and so this is what I want to see is uh, I'm quite excited about this actually you can see I am on target here and yes I can move it around a little bit it's a precision drill so as we go to the two millimeter drill, this should kind of measure where we actually are. So you can see I'm kind of checking and verifying that the uh, uh, X-Guide is actually working because you usually would touch this on the adjacent teeth. So I can do that because I have a posterior tooth. And when we go in, we can come and see the drill going in. The yellow is showing how deep we're going down. So this is at about three millimeters depth and as we go in, we can actually feel the base of the sinus and I'm going to just penetrate that a little bit here so I can get the tip to grab into the base 
into that stable bone. So look at this. This is the blue shows the implant. It's actually the model that's been planned and you can see the, the drill position in the guide showing exactly lining up. So this is quite exciting and so as we go back in we're going to take a 2.4, 2.8 we'll go in with the same kind of accuracy. So it's following the template guided system and you can see as we start to line this up there it is it's going in and we're going through where the tooth would normally be and then we're coming up to where the implant is uh, kind of planned in the software in the DTX implant studio you can see as we're getting to the frication this is where you would normally slide a little bit so the templates helping me kind of stay on position going in two millimeters here now I'm starting to go in a little bit deeper you can see as I go there's at the base of the sinus we're going to just penetrate inside that so I can get that grip to the tip to grab there so again we go back in but look at the accuracy of the kind of target hairs and so that cross hair is showing that the two systems are coincident which is really what I wanted to see because I was concerned that, that there might be an inaccuracy here so I'm staying a bit short now on this drill so we're going to just have the very tip of it grab it and then as I'm going back you can see that I'm measuring the drills each time we're doing this so we know that everything is kind of keeping so you're really navigated here it's a double navigation occurring and as you see this it's quite exciting it's right on target again so down to two four we're getting down to six no actually five millimeters here the angle is about one there's at six so we're starting to come up and we'll let the implant do a little work here because we want the implant to grab and to provide some still stability in that bone we're going to use a tie ultra implant it's a 10 millimeter by 5.5 noble active so we'll again measure the implant and uh, we do the same thing we put it on top and measure how deep that's going to be so this is a moderately rough anodized surface you can see the gold kind of uh, is an anodized a little bit different and this tie ultra implant is completely anodized which makes it a very hydrophilic surface and this is what we want we want to have this kind of surface that reflects the tissues that the implant is in so as it's close to the soft tissue it's going to be you know increasing the oxidation layer of the whole implant but the soft tissue is going to like this a little bit better according to the research so as the implant goes in you can see it's very hydrophilic it's grabbing the blood and wetting the surface of the implant which is kind of cool and it was kind of uh, interesting to watch that now I've been reading about the surface a little bit and one of the things I find interesting is the surface is different based on where it's being used so if it's at the apex it's a little bit rougher and as you move up the implant it does change but it's all anodized and actually the color changes at the top and this is more for some restorative help but also it's designed to kind of reflect in how the soft tissues would like to have a response and so as we look at this and the implant goes in we can see the target is still being maintained we can see that the plan that has come over from the DTX implant studio into the X-Guide software is quite interesting and sophisticated so if we put the final implant position with the template down it's in a position that we know that we want from a template version of the software but it's also in a position that I planned from using the uh, X-Guide software and you can see I'm three millimeters below the tissue here which is what I want to be and you can see it's right in position so for good healing and we're going we didn't get really high stability here we got about 20 newtons so we're going to leave a cover screw on come back later and we'll actually then fix this up after healing and this is quite commonly what we're doing and everything works out fine and so we'll put the, the cover screw in place and the x-ray was actually taken after that so and then we'll put a few sutures in to keep the blood over top and to keep uh, food from kind of collecting in there as well and we get a, a good surface for healing the patient doesn't experience any pain usually on this and uh, so it becomes a very easy so this is dr scott mclean and this has been a, an experiment so i call it the mclean experiment